going on my name is DJ-A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and today we got another four-star gold character gameplay preview video and we got Bray Wyatt the Fiend finally in WWE Champions and the hype is real everybody's been asking for this man to be added to the game and he's finally here I want to give a big shout out to Scopely and the Champions team for allowing myself and other creators the opportunity to lend the services of One Bray Wyatt to make these preview videos for all of you guys. Of course, I do not get to keep him at the conclusion of my previewing. He will be removed from my roster and I will have to try and obtain him like everybody else. And I'm probably going to do some polls for this one, so be expecting some poll videos once he's officially in the loop. But let's get into it. Check him out in his standard gear. Looking pretty decent, man. The lantern looks good, too. I like it. And then, you know, we got to hit the old DJ test, right? We got to scratch the record a little bit here. What can we do? Oh, we can get his hair flipping around. Can we put his hair in his face? No? No? Oh, we got it over his shoulder. We got it over... Oh, we got hair around the neck. A little bit of... uh. A little bit of customization there. I like it. Okay, we can't make the head do nothing cool. All right, so I always like to play around with that. It's fun to see if we can get the, uh, to make it do anything cool. And then we got the gear also. We got the Firefly Funhouse gear for this one. So we could go ahead and check out this look. And his hair's not doing nothing here, but, uh, if you ever got to go against the Miz, go ahead and just use Firefly Funhouse Bray because he don't even got to use the Fiend to beat the Miz. <laughs> I still thought, man, how are you going to do the Miz like that? They did him dirty. Now let's look at the boost. All color moves will start with four more move points. Four more move points. That makes him a Hall of Fame character basically in a solo match. So you don't got to use the move point trainers because they're already there. So... Let's get back and take a look at the moves we got. We got a bunch of moves here. We're going to go ahead and read through them all right up front uh, because I don't know if I'm going to use them all or whatever. But uh, I'm on a little bit of a time bind today, so it's going to be maybe a quick preview for me. We'll see how much time I actually get here. But my first move set we'll start out with, I'm running double purple moves. We got the Lariat Clothesline, four charge, deal 99-23 damage, and deal 14,576 bleed damage to your opponent for six turns. Then we have the Mandible Claw, seven charge, submission, generate 15 random sub gems and do 8902 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into power gems of strength 3814. Then we got a black move in here. The running crossbody block. Deal 14,590 damage and modify a 6x6 six six random area into protect gems strength of 1213. 6x6, six six, guys. The board's 7x7. Seven seven. So it's basically the whole board into protect gems. <clears throat> Then uh, the other moves, he is a showboat, so we do got the yellow moves. The finisher, uh, Sister Abigail, 10 charge, deal 33,728 damage, choose 5 gems to destroy and pin the opponent. So choosing gems to destroy is always pretty nice, because you can sometimes cause some big cascades in that and do some big damage. Then we got two one charge moves. We got the forearm club. Deal 34-34 damage and make four random protect gems into power gems of strength 6402. And then we got the Uranagi one charge black. Deal 43-43 damage and make six random power gems into heal gems of strength 33,055. Yowie, wowie, that's a lot of healing right there. And this is what I think is super awesome right here. It's pretty punny, right? Because if you look through your different moves, with the fiend here you can either choose to hurt with power gems or you can heal with heal gems and protect gems hurt heal hurt heal hurt heal hurt hey, yeah you guys get it you already know i love the fiend man i'm super into this character right now and uh i'm excited to get to some matches so let's go ahead and look at the entourage i got for this first move set like i said no move point trainer is necessary 
but we are going to roll with Seth Rollins, the architect for the bleed gem damage. So now we're bleeding 21,864 for six turns. And I got my baby little zombie Brock on here. And he's going to give me two more purple sub moves. So the six turns on the sub would match the six turns on the bleed if you set them up together. Now, Zombie Brock could go all the way up to 5k and could get me an 8 turn submission out of this, but I don't have it. And if we had Kyrie Sane to add on to the coaching for more bleed damage, this would actually be insane. Big shout out to Kyrie Sane for retweeting my gameplay video of her, getting me all that love on Twitter. So, Kyrie Sane is new number one waifu for show! But, uh, anyways, let's get out here. I chose to go. Oh! I forgot, the coaches I had on there were DX Sean, so that match of purple gems charge purple moves by one extra point, and Brutus Beefcake to reduce opponent's submission turns, because I was going against Yokozuna here, and the reason I'm choosing Yokozuna on the road is because he's got more health than anybody else does on the road, and I want to see, just, you know, I want to keep showing the effects of zapping him with that bleed damage and sub, hopefully, so let's get out here and see what happens. And then we can, we're going to turn the whole board into Protect Gems too, guys. It's actually nuts. It's actually nuts. Boom. Oh, my. Oh, my, guys. I got gear. I got tour perks. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. Look at this bonus here. All colors start with four more. I got tour perks on right now this month. Disclaimer. So, he'd be one turn slower than this. If he got a purple match on turn one, but uh, yeah, oh, insane guys. So we're going to go right into it. You see Yokozuna's got 503,000 health and we're going to zap the shit out of that. <laughs> okay, boom. Let's go with the bleed damage here. Get him. Yowie wowie. Nailed him. Bleeding six turns. Let's just go ahead and put the sub down right now. Okay, so he's going to bleed on every one of these turns. So we're double damaging here all the way through. That's 21,000. There's 9,000. There's 21,000. There's 9,000. Just zap that health. And this is turn one, ladies and gentlemen. So move point trainers are negated on Yokozuna. He will be at zero MP. Look at that. 200,000 health right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here and go, okay. You're going to get a couple turns in, but we are going to protect ourselves during these turns. And there we go. Boom. Full protection from one Yokozuna. And I got the tour perks on. I'm hitting that again next turn. So he could try to hit me, but we're going to keep hurting and we're going to keep healing right here. Hit him with the crossbody. Oh, we even got it to offset a bit. Almost got the whole board going here. Uh, what do we got? We can block his yellow or purple. There's none of that. I need purple or black. There's none of that. So, what I kind of want to do is just try to not leave him something he needs over there. If I would have taken the red, he would have got left purple. And I want that purple. So, I'm going to take that purple... And here we go. We're ready to drain him once more. <laughs> I have taken no damage, guys. <sighs> oh. Wop! Nail him. This is so insane. Do what you want. But now I'm going to have power gems down, too. I don't know. I've seen people chattering like this guy is not insanely good. Are you watching this right now? Are you actually kidding me? He's not insanely good? Oh, he's a showboat. He'll be weak. Guys, look at the video. He's insane. He's insane. Oh, but you're only going against Yokozuna. It don't matter unless somebody had a one-turn move. Sure, if you got uh, a six running against me and you going first, like... Of course, you're going to steal the purple MP every turn and do well. MP stealers will beat anybody. Um, we only need one to kick out. Is there anything but that black? I'd like to take that if possible. No? So, Oh, there's green. Okay. Ooh, or I could take purple. 
I'd rather take purple and clo push closer to finishing him off. Yeah, he's toast. We don't even need to bleed him again. We can just sub him out from here, I think. I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to feel real dumb right now. I was just trying to speed it up a turn. Yeah, we got it. Okay. I was kind of nervous at first. I was like, oh man, I didn't actually think about it that hard. I was thinking like base damage of without the sub trainer on. Okay. Let's see by the time we get back to the lobby, is there even any health missing? Because you're regening like from that time you lose it in the match. So by the time we get back here, is he even missing any health? Nope. That's a full health right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a full health, flawless victory for the Fiend right there over Yokozuna. And in super quick fashion, and I went against somebody with the most health possible to give them a chance to try to hang around against him. Because he's a showboat, and you know he's not hitting too hard, but guys, absolutely insane. Do I need to do that to anybody else, or are you guys content with that against Yokozuna? I would hope you're content with that against Yokozuna. There's nobody on the road with the one-turn moves or anything for me to go against. Okay, so we could do other things with these. So we're going to modify the 6x6 area into Protect Gems. We can make Protect Gems into Power Gems every turn and just start hitting harder. Let's try that out once. Um, let's put it on... No, I, I wanted that. I wanted that. Let's put it on instead of the Bleed move and see what we can do with this. And then... So let's take the Bleed Damage Trainer off. And let's put Power Jam Trainer on the board. Power Jam's add on 50%. Boom. So those are going to be 9603. You know what? Let's take Z Brock off of here for sure. Because we're trying to go Power Gems. And let's go double Power Jam Trainer and run him sort of like Hall of Fame Booker. And we still leave Sean on there to try to get to the submission faster. And we still got Brutus. But now those submission gem power gems, it's not showing it on there. But these trainers are certainly going to affect those power gems, I would think. Let's make sure when we get in there, because this says 38-14. So every turn, we're going to uh, protect ourselves. We're going to heal. And then we're going to turn them to power gems. And we are going to hurt Yokozuna. I'm going to stick with him because I want to compare it to that first set. That first set was insane though, guys. I don't think we're beating it right here. I really don't. Okay, let's go ahead and just hit the sub on turn one and just the sub. I mean, I could have hit the yellow move, but it, I mean, that would have been small damage. There was nothing to turn to power gems yet, so... I'm just going to hit the sub and leave the other two charged for turn two. And we're just going to zap his move points, basically. And we're getting some power gems on the board. And we're going to cover most of them anyways. But any of them on the outskirts there are going to have a chance to add to when we get to this. So, we said, what did we say, 38-14? And those say the Fiend does 72-47 extra damage while it's on the board. So, the power gem damage trainers absolutely do affect the ones that were left over even though it didn't show it on the training page so we got that out of the way so let's go ahead and hit this move put the protect down okay so we have one extra on the side there let's go ahead and make four random protect gems into power gems and let's We could fill black. Oh, I had purple. I didn't see it. Okay, we did 62k damage. But let's not worry about the sub. Let's go back to the power gems and stack this up a bit. So he can't hurt me. Oh, 113,000. Stack it. Oh, he's got his sub ready. Whatever. I still, I just want to stack it. Stack it, Bray. What are we doing? Still taking purple off the board? Oh, I took one of my power. 137. 
Look at that, without even hitting my other moves. Without even hitting the other moves. He's in big trouble. Yoko, you're in big trouble, buster. Okay, we're gonna get some more power gems every turn. 148 and he's dangered. And we can go ahead, put the mandible claw down and it's over. Guys, versatility. That's a second set that was equally as OP. Now, if I would have went against a fast charge guy, they would have got to move off against that set. But I could have went to the sub sooner. I could have hit that purple gem there on the that first match, and I could have got back to that sub right away. So it's just I wanted to showcase going every turn and trying to stack them power gems up there, and it still absolutely worked against him. I even took his sub, and I was sub coached, and that hardly hurt me either. And his sub leaves Protect Gems down, which were liable for me to turn to Power Gems. So, absolutely fantastic. Let's go out here one more match. And let's uh, let's switch the gear back. We got to check him out with the gear. You know what? I think we've seen enough with those two sets, to be honest. What else could we possibly do? We could take the Uranagi and put it in one turn and make six Power Gems into Heal Gems. And so you could run a chain reaction where you could play super defensively. This is what I would leave on for defense maybe in a feud or a showdown against somebody. This could be good. Where they hit the crossbody block so all the protect gems are on the board. And then they'll make protect gems into power gems. And then make power gems into heal gems every turn. And then just keep healing themselves all of that. Because every turn they could potentially go back up 100k or you know what I mean. Like once it starts stacking up. And with all them Protect Gems on the board, every black match, it's going to be hard to hurt him. But that's a long, painful match that I don't really want to go through right now. But I think you guys get the idea of that. So, what I do want to do... I mean, you could put the Finisher into that first set. You could run Double Purples with the Finisher if you don't want to play with the Protect Gems. And you could go with the other yellow move, too. So, you could, uh, you could put this one in here. And then you could roll double yellows with that black too. And then use the black to make the power gems. And then go up for the finisher instead of for the submission like I had. I like having the submission on because I can hold them back from hitting moves. Maybe if you hit that finisher and you got say a Z knock on there or something. You could do some giant damage on that finisher. And maybe they wouldn't have to get another turn. But what I want to do is try to set something up. And this one's going to be a little tricky but... I got a little treat for you guys. Something I've been thinking about here. And let's go back into the road and go to the women's tour and get to a mix match. Now, hypothetically, what I'm about to do, you would want to run the Fiend as your number one character. And you'd want to run my guest Paige here as your second. But there's nowhere on the road, I don't think, where you do male first, female second mix match. So, And I'm not allowed to do this in Showdown. So we're going to go ahead and put my three-star gold page on here because she's got a move that convert all protect gems into crossbreak gems. So what we're going to do is load Sting up on here. Because we want to get her red off. We want to get the red charged anyways. And then let's put DDP on here. Just because. Okay. And then. We're going to go ahead and put the fiend in this slot. Oh look he did take 20,000 damage in that last match. Shucks. So Paige will even get an extra move point because look at the Fiend and Paige got the SmackDown Live link. And we'll go out here, Helmo, Charlotte, Flair, Bobby Roode. And we're going to try to get the Fiend tagged in to hit the Protect Gems and then get it back over to Paige. If we can. Actually, this might not be a good match for this because I don't even know if my Paige can last with this Charlotte. If this is going to go bad, you're going to see a cut in the video right here and I'm going to be in a different match. So look out for that. Okay, tour perks on. Those are charged. 
Okay, this will be good because we're going to go ahead and charge up the sub. I'm just going to try to leave those red moves charged. Now, I know I'm going to lose the match eventually, but I want to see what it looks like when you turn the entire board back into crossbreak gems. So we're just going to try to get black charge there. Okay, so brace charged on the black move. Um, let's just keep hiding from her, no? Okay, Bray's ready to tag in. Now what I want to do is hurt Bobby Roode enough that he wants to tag out. And I want to be able to hit the black move, like, right before he does. I don't know. Or I'm going to have to wait till my tag gets charged again. So let's just... Well, let's go ahead and put it out right away. And then I can hit black here and recharge it. Because I want to put some power gems down. Or just hold my health. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what I do to him. Because all we're going to try to do is... Uh, get Paige in here and fill the whole board and... See what that looks like one time. We're going for the slam of the week. I might have to just clip this part too and just put this clip up somewhere. Oh, we don't want to break too much of this board down. Come on, get my sub, get my tag counter down here for me. I actually kind of don't want him to tag out. I want to tag on my own. Oh, no! Man, this setup's going to be a little wicked then. Dang it. I blew my chance there. I didn't think he would tag out so quickly like that. Okay, leave red. I'm going to need to be able to break that red. To recharge. And then we're going to have to wait again. Because this isn't going to cut it right here. Hmm. Do I just wait, or do you think he'll try to tag out again? Let's see if he tries to tag right back out. Okay, he doesn't. If I don't hit no moves on him, maybe he'll... Oh, I didn't take the red! God, I'm messing everything up! Here's, here's some red. There, she's charged. Don't tag out. Oh, I gotta go one more. Do you think... He won't tag out, right? This is such a painful setup when I had to start with Paige. Come on, whatever this is, pin me. Come on, Cascade. Okay, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for right here. This is the moment. So... The Fiend, he's going to hit the crossbody block. Bam! We're going to load the board with Protect Gems. And then we're going to tag in Paige. And I know my page is kind of puny, but we're going to get the visual of it. That's all that we needed right here was the visual of this. Convert all Protect Gems into Crossbreak Gems, ladies and gentlemen. This is what a board full of Crossbreak Gems actually looks like. Oh. <laughs> oh my god oh. all right what are we we're gonna miss the top left corner gem and that's it because we can't go diagonal so there's gonna be oh wait no we can blow it up too because i'm choosing yellow it's yellow in the corner ladies and gentlemen we are going to blow the entire board up in one shot right here Oh, are we though? Hold on, we got to be real strategic here, don't? We? 
No, because if you do one of these... Yeah, one of them's gonna blow up everything. Okay. Okay, I was psyching myself out for a minute. Like, that's gonna go up and down and hit all of them, which means all of them are gonna go over left and right. Okay. That's even only two gems we need to destroy right there. And... Boo! <laughs> I wish I didn't have a puny page and that wasn't only 49,000, but... Guys, you can blow up the entire board. If you get a mix match showdown and you have Paige in the Fiend, put the Fiend first, put Paige second, blow up the whole board. It's just that simple. I don't even need to finish this match. That's all we were trying to do. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. Are you excited about the Fiend? Are you going to try to do some pulls for him? Because I know I am. I want to get him on my roster. And uh, thanks for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Drop an insane elbow on the like button it only takes you one second and it helps me out immensely so if you could do that for me that would be awesome and until next time guys peace if you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath and hey consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content